Wait, there we go. Alright, we got it. We got it! Can I read this, or is this spoilers? I could read this, right? The, uh, 1974 The Peace Walker Incident. The era is the seven 1970s. Big Boss has stationed his army without a nation in Colombia, South America, where he is approached by visitors from Costa Rica, a nation without a military. In the wake of the Cuban Missile Crisis, Latin, Ameri beca Latin America became key to maintaining the power balance between East and West. But now, a mysterious armed force threatens to disrupt this balance. To preserve peace and neutrality, neutrality in Costa Rica, the Soldiers Without Borders move into action. In time, they would be known as the Founders of Outer Haven. Yeah, so this game takes place in between... It takes place after Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater and... Before me the events of Metal Gear Solid 1 and... Before 5. So 5 is after this, but before Metal Gear Solid 1. Well, technically, all of these uh, are also before um, Metal Gear Solid, like the original Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Or Metal Gear, Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. Yes? Okay. There you go. What that guy said. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Got a two hours two hours to take a peek into this game. I think we're going to do the raffle for the next game on Monday. Alright, why is it just a black screen? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, configuring system data. I'm going to have Regis and Classy be exempt from this raffle because they won the last two. Oh, you know what? I don't know what I work on Monday. Oh, fuck the schedule. No, I do. I'm off. I'm off Monday and Tuesday. All right, so I'm going to just add this here on the schedule while this all this stuff is going. We're going to be streaming from 5 to 9. I don't know what game. Probably this. And um, we're going to do the raffle. At 7 p.m. So about this time Monday. Halfway through the stream. Two hours into the four hour stream. We're going to do the raffle. So, mark your calendars, guys. Monday. You guys have a chance to pick the next game that we play after Peace Walker. Hey, Nyo! Hey! Haven't seen you in a while. You can't even come say hi every once in a while. Five minutes? Come on, dude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Nyo. David Hader. And a bunch of other people that aren't as important as David Hader. <laughs> oh, Tara Strong, I know her.
Huey. Christopher Randolph. Is that the same guy who voices Otacon? Hi, Levi. We're playing Peace Walker right now. That character looked like him, too. Okay. Until the red lines surrounding the background fit the screen perfectly. Oh, man. I'm making it... I'm making it, um... Fit for me, but I'm making it... Okay. We'll, we'll just do this. On my screen, it's not right. But on your screen, it probably it's right. Oh, look, I'll show you guys. You see? I can't even see the arrows on the side. Because of my resolution, it's not... It's not 1920 by 1080. But it's fine. We'll go with this. If I can't see anything on the screen, I can always look over to OBS. Okay. No options or anything? Language settings. Two game select extras. Whatever. Let's just play the game. Let's just play the game, play the game, play the game. Oh, you beat Okami. How did you enjoy it? New game. Woo! Input your player name. You may only use up to 15 uppercase. Why do I need to put in my player name? Oops. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Space. No space? Space... Space bar. Fine. Whatever. Good! Oh, a triangle. Damn, okay. I know how to do this. How's that? <laughs> I'm furry snake. There's solid snake, there's naked snake. There's furry snake. Furry snatch? What does that mean? You almost cried at the end? Aww. Those are the best games, Neo. Those are the best games. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, select my control scheme, similar to that of Metal Gear Solid 4, similar to that of MPO, or similar to that of, uh, how do I, what did I do? Can I go back? Uh, this is important. What the the control stuff? Cause I didn't, I couldn't figure out what I was doing, and I accidentally went. I selected which one did I select? Did I select the Metal Gear Solid Four one? Cause I don't even know what MPO is, and I and I am not familiar with the Monster Hunter controls. I selected shooter type. What is that? Is that what I want? Okay, we're good. Alright, that's what I wanted, but I couldn't figure out how to, like, change it. Alright, save completed. Alright, we got to our first save. Yeah! We got this. The year was 1964. The world was firmly in the grip of the Cold War, divided into East and West. One of America's heroes had defeated, defected to the Soviet Union. She was known as the Boss, the mother of the Special Forces and the soldiers said to have led the Allies to victory in World War II. However, the American-made miniature nuclear warhead she took with her was used to destroy a Soviet research facility. Full facing full-scale nuclear war, the leaders of the world's superpowers held top-secret talks to avert Armageddon. I don't know why I'm using this voice. The Soviet Union wanted assurance that this was not the work of Uncle Sam. They wanted America to eliminate... things. The person assigned this mission was her closest apprentice, the soldier known as Snake. Snake made the anguished journey into er enemy territory, eventually confronting and killing the boss at a fortress called Groznygrad. Having saved the world, Snake was hailed a true hero and given the title, Big Boss. MPO is portable ops? No. No exclusives for PSP for me. Following the award ceremony, however, Snake disappeared. Big boss. Konami Digital Entertainment presents a Hideo Kojima game. That's right, Big Bellin. David Hayter. Let's go. <laughs> Look alive, ladies. The boss is going to join us. Show him how it's done, boss. Your first priority in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. 
Your life depends on where you are looking and how fast you can identify your targets. Therefore, you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now when I give you an order, look in that direction. Look up. Good. Look down. Good. You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. Press yeah. the action button if you're ready to move on. Hell yeah. Okay. Next we'll check your left and right. Look right. Oh. Good. <laughs> Look left. Good. You should be familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Ready to move on. Okay. You can change the controls anytime in options. Go with the method that works best for you. Next, I'll explain how to change stances. If you just stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now. At times, you will need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances. Stand, crouch, and lying down. To change stances, use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in either stance. Hold the crouch button and keep it held to lie down. However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll say that again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the left stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly, tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! Be careful! Good! Now we have rolling. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way, and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it to jump over small ditches and other obstacles. To roll, tap the crouch button while running. You got that? Tap the crouch button while running! Don't forget it! That's it! Next, I will explain how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you. Or no, you I need a refresher. You still need an effective attack strategy. One well-placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. Ready to get fucked up? Uh, uh, uh. Impressive, boss. That's right. Next, we're gonna practice That's why I'm the, the, the boss. Rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. A and million and a half. That, that is guaranteed to be out cold. That to sounds use the stun rod, press the dangerous. Button. To ready it, then press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training session. When your partner attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. Prepare yourself for stun rod training. Go. I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Now we'll move on to CQC. CQC! Or close quarters yeah. combat refers to when engaging an enemy in battle at very close range. It is a quick and efficient way of eliminating a threat. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This See, guys? From what you're used Don't to. get cocky. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. See? He the knows what's up. It's throwing your opponent. To do this, position yourself near your opponent and press the attack button while you tilt the left stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command and throw your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. Uh, that is incorrect, boss. I held it. Uh, that is incorrect, boss. <laughs> Impressive, boss! Next, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. 
This is a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there is up to you. Just know that if you restrain him for too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go. I'm ready, boss. Fine work, boss! Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the left stick when you have them restrained. Restrain your opponent and throw them on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. I'm ready, boss. I'm waiting for your command. Hello? Impressive, boss! Get on the ground! We will try CQC against multiple enemy opponents. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have restrained. First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then, tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting the left stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my Hell command, yeah! Restrain and then throw your opponent. Hell yeah! Go! I'm ready, ready boss. Oh. Huh. Uh. Fantastic! Again! Go! I'm ready, ready boss. boss. Again! Huh. No. What? That is incorrect, boss! Shut up! Huh. That is incorrect, boss! There we go. I was doing it too soon. Fine work, boss! All right. Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Special. Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward. Don't hold back, boss. When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after the other. To do it, simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go. I'm ready, I'm ready boss. boss. Can you what? <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on. Press the attack button when the icon appears. Oh. Boss, press Stylish. the attack button when the icon appears. What? I did. I did that, motherfucker. Boss, press the attack button when the icon appears. I did! I'll explain it again! Fuck you! When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, I understand! You'll have to on one after the other. To do it, I don't want to press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go! I'm ready, boss. Huh. Attack button when the icon appears. I'm gonna attack you, motherfucker. Boss, press the attack button when the icon appears. Boss, press the what attack the fuck? When the icon appears. Don't slam them into each other. Oh. But that didn't work appears. either. Rage quit ah, on the tutorial. Time to move on. But and stop. That's it for today. But thank you, boss. But what? Wait, I wasn't. Did I do it right? What did they want me to do? Snake. Whatever. Hopefully that's not that important. <laughs> it's 
Snoop. Hi, David Hater. What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Miller. It's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. <sighs> what? Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Think on that, sucker. Coffee like Costa Rican coffee. I'm gonna pretend it's hot chocolate. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm. I was I born in San Jose. Corporation of Costa California. Rica. Hey, Velasanto. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La CIA may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology that you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The governments agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. This is the beginning, yep. Chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No, I'm not here their behalf so what are you doing here for over 20 years I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities tonight I said but it's Japan as an educator this is my student she came to me to study peace 
Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh... They've got a supply port north of Puerto <laughs> Limon, a town in the Costa Denied. del Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child, 16 years old. They did terrible things to her, but somehow she managed to escape. Fana. Her mother died when she was small, and she lost her grandparents in the civil war. Why am I looking she at She hates war with a passion her... like no other. What? She's a child. What? <laughs> I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please get them out of my country. Come on, Kojima. She's Costa Rica. She's underage. Sorry, we know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. She's old enough for me. Damn, dude. Furry snake. That's me. There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the directional buttons while holding the R2 button to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with the L1 button, then press the R1 button to fire. Oh, that should just respawn. Okay. Moving on. Hi, Miller. 
How's it going? The facility you're headed for is past that fence. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. You throw them, Snake. Yeah, okay. Press the L1 button to ready throwing weapon. Once you've ready the weapon, throw with the R1 button. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. A little more practice? No. I'm ready. Let's go! I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Hi, Wangage. And, and hi, here. Pika. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. How Snake is the, the blood? I was, I was about to say Dark Souls. How's Bloodborne it's going, for Miller? For her. <clears throat> I'm doing good. We 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 beat a game tonight. I beat I the last remnant. Here. Super on, excited. Snake. Super hyped this for that. Good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant, a place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, Kaz. We're nomads. We always will be. Well, How are you guys? You, keep wandering from conflict you and Pika. Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, cuz. It's time for a little chat with the professor. Hmm? That's convenient. I was a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was still carrying bodies, Slim. So I quit. I thought he was there I'm to help you. It since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Is I wrong? big boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name they liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. <laughs> I have not purged Slim. Slim behaves himself very well Land around is here. Slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet, Neruda. Darude? Central America is the Darude? name of the American Sandstorm? continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua. Nicaragua. The pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. That You're sounds awesome, Wayne. Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. 
After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then drive them out of the country. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime, Wing, and Pika. Thank you, guys. In the CIA. I appreciate it. What about her? Mochi, come here. We got a that. subscriber. You mean her words about peace? <laughs> she was captured. That much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story. Mochi says no. thank you, too. I had good reason to bring her along. Right, Mochi? She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. Dang, Slim, are you gonna let him... Are you gonna let him talk to you like that? So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. W what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission? Or your beliefs. I... I am loyal to myself. Oz is alive in Costa Rica. Who's that? As I understand it, she was your commander. She's alive? Side, She's alive, Mochi! And that you killed her under orders from the CIA. Thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. <gasps> Did you hear that? Well, what'll it be? Will you take the job? Hell yeah, I'll take hey, the job! It's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. Okay. 
for peace then. But she's so sleepy right now. Wait, is Miller the guy who's um voiced by uh there they are. Otakon Otakon guy? You've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever or is that somebody else? She has cute underwear. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Damn it. Gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill I you. I suck at sneaking thing. missions. Oh, I knew I knew Slim was going to get you, Miller. I knew it. He's got power around here. Don't forget that. All right, Mochi. You're so fucking cute. But I gotta play the game now. Mm. He's also trying to play the game with his tail. Alright, Mochi. Say bye. He's like, I'm so sleepy. Sleepy Mochi is sleepy. Alright, off you go. Okay, this is a sneaking mission. Great. Okay. Well, I can go this way. Wait, wait. Okay, so... Let me see. I have a... This is my Trank pistol in case I need it. To press up against a wall, face it and hit the action button. From that position, you can press the L1 button to detect enemies. That also works while lying down. All right, guys, let's see how my, my sneaking is. So you can't, um, you can't lie down and move in this game, which is different from the other games. Make your way east. East. I'll try to be sneaky bunny for you, Clamp. I Keep will try. Your what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge uh. will recover with time. The sight gauge, too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. There's a lot of things on the screen I can't see. When you clear the jungle, you'll be there. Head east. I should have adjusted the screen. I can't see my camo index. I can't see my life bar. I think that's my life bar. Next to my name. Can't see my number of bullets. It's not good.
You see nothing. I'm seeing things. That's right, you are. Going the right way. I'm heading east. Let's go. When you clear the jungle, you'll be there. Head east. We did it. We sneaked. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, this is um. This is a HD version of the game, so I don't know how much different this is from the original, but yeah. Alright, so how do I save? Just auto-save? Is there saving in this game? Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Security tight, huh? Okay. No problem. We got this. It saves between missions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but there's checkpoints, right? Try dying and find out? No, thanks. That's not part of the plan. Wish I had a... I think I'm safe here, though. <laughs> God damn it. On the east side Shh. Of the compound. You scared me! Dude. Mission complete! Woo! We did it, boys! Yeah! First mission, not even detected. Uh. Mochi! Yes, sir, we broke him. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. Surprise! It's me, Naked Snake. What? I can't see the whole screen. This sucks. I couldn't see what it was trying to tell me to do. What is it? I'm like, huh? Your suit in the mountains. What's up there? <sighs> 
cereal. I want cereal. found a radio it's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase let's switch frequencies from time to time just to make sure we're not detected i found a map of their bases the cargo's heading from the marshes west towards irasu nice going boss cause this place is full of film badges dozens of them film badges like the ones used to measure radiation exposure uh, the radio man was wearing one and whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God. Holy Mother of God. Kojima loves putting his name all over these games, doesn't he? Did I get an A? Remember this moment, because it's the only time. It's the only fucking time <laughs> that this is gonna happen. That kill, that kill count is gonna go up. That alert phase is definitely gonna go up. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. <laughs> Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Malco Treaty which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out... If I got an we'll S? Will be forced to act. It'll cause an international mm. uproar. The treaty was signed was to prevent close. another Cuban missile crisis. I got an A. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it. Latin America's too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well... If they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs. Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. Looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it happen. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Welcome back, Slim. Welcome to N M F MSF's Mother Base. Mother Base can support your mission in many different ways, from developing new weapons to collecting intelligence.
Would I like to view the staff tutorial? Uh, sure. Mother base is divided into several teams, including the combat unit, the R&D team, and the waiting room. By dividing your staff between the teams and raising each team's level, you'll be able to develop new weapons and items over time. Select auto-assign the waiting room to automatically assign staff teams according to their abilities. Recruiting talented personnel and exploring the talents with the right assignments is the key to expanding mother base. This concludes the tutorial. Alright. Auto-assign is the life for me. Yo. So, combat unit, R&D, brig. Am I on the big screen? Hey, Ma! I'm on TV! Same system in Metal Gear Solid 5? Okay, so why did they put these guys in... What does this do? I can change it. Why did they put these guys in the combat and these guys in R&D? Based on stats? So the higher combat ability they have as opposed to, like, mechanical ability, or whatever that wrench is. Press triangle. They have quotes. We are not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. Good eats every day. Rhinoceros. You can't attack while reloading, so find some place to take cover when you do. That's what keeps me al that's what's kept me alive all these years. Blue gill. Chicks dig a man who smells like success. Lungfish. Flying weapons are usually pretty noisy. They ought to be easy to find if you've got a surround indicator, right boss? Boss, send me into battle. I can handle it. You're like a knife, a, a knife out of its sheath, you know that? Lobster. I heard there's a suit that makes your footsteps almost silent. Imagine how useful that'd be for sneaking up on people from behind. Moon Reyes. Awaiting orders, boss. Hello to micromanagement? I don't know. Oops. I don't know how much I'm into that. Give me a mission, boss. Large caliber handguns are the best tool for stopping the enemy from acting. And they let you use CQC at the same time. If you find yourself surrounded, try going with a handgun. No need for you to go, boss. I got this one covered. I can't believe I'm actually meeting you in person, boss. Yesterday's enemy is today's ally. If you want to create a change in time, don't blindly abide by society's rules. Be able to evaluate what is right and wrong on your own. Right, boss? Right. Okay, so that's like...
That's like uh, co-op missions, right? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm more like anti-micromanagement, but well, if you, as long as you guys help me out with it, I think we'll be okay. At Mother Base, you can develop new weapons and items for use in missions. The icon shows that you are able to start developing weapon... This icon shows that you are able to start developing weapons and items. Versus missions? It's both co-op and required to do the mother base stuff. You can't forget it. It's a required to get the end ending. Wait, what is? Not the co-op, but everything else. Everything else meaning... What? However, to do so, you will need the amount of GMP funds displayed. Be careful, if you run out of GMP, development may come to a halt. More powerful weapons and items will make difficult missions that much easier. This concludes the tutorial. So this is a handgun. An upgrade for my MK-22. Rank 2. Ration. Assault rifle, sniper rifle, grenades, close range, the stun rod, development status. I guess they want me to do this. Wait, what do you want me to do? Ready for development. Yes. Develop me, baby. Analyzer. R&D team level 22 or higher, mess hall team level 5 or higher, in order to develop rank 2 rations. Okay. Other. Confidential. Documents. Confidential documents. Bullets. Team level required to produce level five. Uh, uniforms. Naked. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also get ready for not killing people, you need them for your team. What do you mean not killing people? Uh, save play data. Transfer... 
Adjust game settings. Mission selector, embark on a mission. Okay. So I think we're done here, yeah? So I'm level 8 combat, level 5 of this thing. Oh, should I send everybody in balloons? Everybody I can? Main ops. Oh. Oh, okay. Opening investigate the supply facility. Did I do that one yet? Or is that the one I want to do? You can- you can backseat me. It's okay. Where's the check mark? MSF soldiers only. Okay. So I guess I want to do this one, right? Check mark is the one I've done already. Oh. Okay. Um yeah, I can't see it on my screen. Okay. That's what I was confused about. I I'm going to try to see if I can adjust the uh the screen later cuz usually I'm okay like but in this game, it cuts off a lot of the screen on my end. Like, I see... I don't see mission. I see the S-S-I-O-N. So we'll go do this one. The boss has infiltrated the area around the coastal supply facility and knocked out the soldier there. But we can't just leave him there to be found. I need you to get in there and capture the unconscious soldier using the Fulton recovery system. Do it quickly before he comes to. Replay, select. Start. What? Okay, I'll do this one. Snake, I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend, Poss. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? Uh, I guess. I'll put her on. Snake! Paz, where are you? Hold on.
boss has infiltrated the area. Okay, so mission prep. Snake. Like that? You have to be somebody else for this mission. Where does it show me what kind of a... Uh like area it is does it tell me like this one is good for sand this one's it's kind of this one sucks for everything this one's good for sand i guess we'll just use this one the fatigues Now I can start. Okay. I'll probably do one more mission, depending on how long it takes, but... One use or two Fulton more missions. Recovery to bring back knocked out soldiers. To use Fulton Recovery on a soldier, get up next to them so the icon appears and push the action button. That's too tall to climb. If only you had some equipment. What? What equipment? Equipment to climb? What do you mean? I ain't got shit. Fulton Love Box. A bigger cardboard box. Might be able to fit two people. The fuck? Hurry up and send those knocked out soldiers back here. Fine. Don't mess around or they're gonna wake up. Time extension. Good job. Return to base. Oh, was that the whole mission? I don't know. Am I supposed to get all of them or just the one? I got an A. So, uh. The following words can now be infused with hello heroic spirit here. Sign specs, hobby, magazine layout, rank one.
A personnel report has arrived. A report has arrived from R&D team. A new weapon has been developed. Device that analyzes information. When equipped, it will display various information on nearby enemies. Soldiers' abilities have been increased due to the experience from the mission. Parameters went up due to experience in combat unit. One new member joined, one new item developed, and one new weapon developed. Six hundred twenty. No, I can't. I can't even see how much GP I, GMP I have. So they're now re ready to be made. How do I make it? One, rank two. The analyzer. Cannot develop... No, that's the rank two. I don't know. Okay, am I done here? Am I done? Got another document? How do I equip it? mission then. That was like a 30 second mission. We'll do one more. Uh, character prep. Okay. Got it. Snake, I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend Paz. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? I guess. I'll put her on. Snake. Paz, where are you? Ciudad Colon. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. See, he has a radio in his room, so we can talk anytime. <sighs> Pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake, that you'll bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. Thank you. Snake, if you need to know about Costa Rica, the geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything, just ask me. I know about its history and laws, too. We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question. I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school. I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. And that war is a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's right. So, to achieve peace, we have to create it ourselves. 
crying about it won't bring it about or make it last. Each one of us must go and seek it out. You won't find it without making sacrifices. No offense, but I don't know what peace is. Never felt what it's like. Huh. Never even been interested in it. Snake? Oh, sorry. Listen, Paz, I think your ideas are admirable. And I hope they turn out to be right. Yeah, me too. Peace is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Thanks, Snake. I will be here whenever you need me. See you later. Snake, use your radio to call people. But stay alert. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your guard down. Got it. Need to know more about Costa Rica? Haas can help you out. Good to know. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those spears really are what we think they are. And if so, why they're here. Hi, comics. The transport route. Find the nukes. That's what I'm thinking. Twitch died for you? First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Commandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. We better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinista's Commandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. You choose how to handle it, boss. Okay, so I have the rank 2 MK22 already equipped. What is this? Oh, the stun. The stun thingy. Put that in there too. All right, let's go. Anybody who's playing it on uh, PS3, right? A Country Without an Army, Chapter 1. Head for the FSLN Boathouse. It's northwest of there. You can use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Oh, that's just for co-op, huh? Codec. This is Miller, hearing you loud and clear. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Press the attack button near the enemy to initiate close quarters combat. I didn't use the box. Should I? The empty mag is just to get people's direction? Or attention? Huh? 
keep it here at the base. A truck from the coastal facility. Huh. But it's not carrying any cargo. Molten recovery helicopter is complete. So I should just use that on any guys Molten that I find? Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. All right. Yep. That was easy. Next spot. Fulton, everybody. Okay. Oh, that's why it was like that. Okay. Oh my god, I don't get it. I get it, I get it. Can I blow that up or no? That fence seems pretty sturdy. I doubt you could bust through it. Okay. All right. Next area. You can't shoot him to death and then Fulton them out? Well, maybe I want to send a... a present back, you know? To the home base. To the mother base. Shit. guy first. Ah, oh, what the hell? Come on. Get him. Let's try the CQC. Oh. Never mind. Rise and shine. Never mind. Oh, shit. Whatever. It works. Whatever works.
Captain recovered. Your helicopter is complete. Um, on my shirt, I'll show you. Hold on. It's not really from an anime. It, um... She is the, um... Uh, mascot, I guess, for, um... Crunchyroll website. So, that's who she is. If you shoot right in their asses, it's like a headshot with the tranks. Really? <laughs> really? So is this game kind of like a bunch of really short missions? Like the missions aren't really, or at least right now they're not really the long. They'll probably get a lot longer fine. later. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the Commandante. Okay, one, oh, there's several dudes here. As long as I have bullets. Oh man, there's a lot of guys uh, scared. I mean, I could just run straight. No, I have to go. I have to go there, huh? That circle? Commandante. Oh god. He scared me. Yeah? Okay, where are you going? Okay, this is a long mission, you said? Uh. Neutralize the soldiers. You might even tranquilize or knock them out. How am I gonna trank them without anyone seeing? What was that? Shit. Who saw me? Seeing things. I think I need to get this this guy up here first. Maybe the lookout guy. I need to get closer though. Enemies close by. Fuck. They spotted you. Get out of there. They spotted me. Get out of there! Negative. We can't spare reinforcements. You'll have to make do with what you have. Do over. Are you talking to me? Answer, so hurry. Hurry? What? What? So never mind. Did you call me retarded? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm furry snake. Good. You shook him. They're still looking though. Don't make it easy for them. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. This is HQ. This is patrol. Okay, have fun. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Yeah. Find him. I don't know, I've never been there. Spring something. Do they have anything else there? Just get me something. This is HQ. This is Okay, I'll get that. All clear. Understood. Stay vigilant. What? I'm tired. Well then go to bed. I was in bed. Alright, well just go. You're being grumpy. I'm not being grumpy. Yes, you are being grumpy. You're being grumpy. No, I'm not. How are you doing, Sam? Good to see you. Well, I'm in the last area. I just need to... I think I just need to, um... Deal with all these guys. And then I think I'll be good to go. You've been spotted. Run for it. It's either that or take out every last enemy soldier. And he got up. Negative. Right at the and last second. You'll have to make do with what you have. That was lame. Doing good, can't complain. Good to hear. You've lost him. But they're still on the hunt. Stay sharp. We just started this game today. Alright, how many are left? Three? HQ, come in. This is HQ. This is patrol. Contact lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. <clears throat> Peace Walker is um, after three and HQ, come in. before this is HQ. five. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Stay vigilant. Right. Something like that. <laughs> we just went over this, and I already am questioning myself. Okay, I want to get this guy up here, but I don't want anyone to see me. So can you guys not see me? Can I hit him? Can I hit him? I don't like that. Just come a little bit out here more. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> no problem, Sam. I got I got I got you. I know what you're trying to say there. Meet 
with the FSLN Commandante. He's inside the boathouse. Wait. I wasn't done. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Mission complete. See, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. That was pretty quick still. Killed Nuestro Viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Mm. Hmm. A cigar? <laughs> I'll take whatever you've got. A cigar? <laughs> I owe you one. But I prefer cigarettes, you know. How do I look? A little like El Che, no? Amanda. You Cubano? Mm, Colombiano. A photographer. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Birds? Yeah, uh, Quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's only the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! <sighs> Tell me what's going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security, more like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard they're a security force hired by Codessa. Uh, yeah, and I'm Papa Nowhere. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's? La Cia. I saw them, setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew, on the Rio del Jade? You mean the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there. But I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compas, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it! All right! This was our last hideout. The final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, El Monstruo attacked. A monster? Y mi viejo. Mi viejo. Papa. Tu es la esperanza. Our hope. Now that Papa's gone, my sister's la comandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero. Who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves. Neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My Compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! See what I mean? El Colibri! Hi, Free, what's up?
you. <laughs> what? Uh, zoom. Attack. Did I hit it? Did I do it? <laughs> Drones in the 70s. Really? It's made in Vocaloid? Oh no, we didn't get an A on this one. I got spotted. I got a C! No! Two alert phases. <laughs> oh well. Whatever. Obtain design specs for the falling weapon. M1911A1 one 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 one. Snake, what was that thing? Whatever it was, it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I'd heard rumors, but an operational unit? What the hell is going on here? Not to quote Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual, it's overkill. Which means one thing, it's nukes. So the question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thinking. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost and make contact with Amanda if she's still alive. Roger. All right. I can always redo a mission. All right, we'll think about it, but not tonight. I requ I acquired um, missiles, disposable rocket launcher, weak power, staff parameters increased, eight new members joined. So I got some mechanics, an engineer, a couple engineers, and a couple commandos. Alright, well... We'll figure out what we want to do with these guys later. Right now, I'm just gonna save. And then we'll, uh, we'll do the, the mother base stuff. We'll do the- we'll do that stuff later. Oh, saving, okay. Yeah, I have an early, early shift tomorrow, so... I'm gonna- I'm gonna head out. It is time anyways, so... Pretty good timing. Five minutes over. So we'll continue this tomorrow. Going total stealth is kinda hard. Well... The grind in this game is real. How long is this? This game isn't that long though, is it? So far it doesn't seem too bad, but that uh that last one was pretty pretty rough. But I was just careless. 
<laughs> Just got back from the movie. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, Haster. But you can tell me about it. You can tell me about it tomorrow. Alright, guys. Uh, let's see. I shall host up... Um, you know, I'm gonna do something a little bit different tonight. I'm gonna host... Uh, I was watching Caesar's stream last night. It was so funny. He was playing with Summit 1G though, and it was just hilarious. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna host up Seas tonight. He's a bigger streamer, so... Uh, I don't know. I just feel like it. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, starting at 5. Don't forget, um, I scheduled the next uh, game raffle to be Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So, unless something prevents me from streaming on Monday, we're gonna do it then. So make sure you guys are saving up your carrots and uh, we can get the next game on the on the list picked out. And you guys have a fantastic night. Thank you guys very much for being here. And I hope you guys had fun. We beat a game. We beat 115 games on stream and soon to be 116 after we finish this one. So good progress, guys. Thanks. Good night.